Around a month ago, Copilot released a new update, which was the introduction of co-agents, simplifying human AI collaboration by connecting LangGraph agents to humans through dynamic UIs, real-time updates, shared states, and interactive Q&A sessions. And the output that comes from this is just truly amazing. For the people who do not know what Copilot is, it's an open source AI framework for building custom AI Copilots, whether these Copilots are built to be a custom AI chatbot, an AI agent, or even an AI text area. It's an AI Copilot that could be built into your application using various commands like a Copilot sidebar, which adds a sidebar with an AI Copilot to your app, or you can have a Copilot pop-up that integrates a pop-up window with the AI Copilot for on-demand assistance. And lastly, you have a Copilot panel, which incorporates a dedicated panel with an AI Copilot for continuous interactions. It's simply grounded in real-time user-specific context, meaning that it's designed for the ability to leverage real-time data and adapt to user-specific information. Now, in my opinion, the best feature about it is that it has the ability to take action on behalf of the user. This is a functionality that will help you automate tasks, make decisions, and even provide assistance. Now, to get a better idea as to what Copilot Kit is capable of, take a look at this demo video of Copilot Kit being integrated into your spreadsheet. And this is with the help of AI, obviously. Essentially, it's an AI-powered spreadsheet app that will allow you to use AI to interact with your data, and it's where Copilot Kit serves as an in-app AI assistant, aka a Copilot, that will help users interact with their data more effectively. You can clearly see that it is capable of integrating as well as analyzing your data. And if you are to integrate Copilot into your app, it will greatly enhance your efficiency by many folds. Essentially, what we're gonna be doing throughout today's video is showcasing how you can build a production grade human in the loop agent system using LangGraph and co-agents. Now in this demo, you're gonna learn how to create a specialized research agent with LangGraph, as well as having it linked to a full stack application through co-agents. Now the outcome is where you're going to be able to create a fully functioning clone of perplexity and it's going to showcase how quickly and efficiently you can implement human in the loop systems. Hi folks again this is Ariel and I'm going to show you actually the demo that we've built using LangGraph, Savili and of course Copilot Kit using co-agents. So first let's see what we're going to get at the end. So what we have here is a simple app and we can ask this app some questions, right? For, so for example, we wanna know the electric, the number of electric cars sold in 2024 versus 2023. So we can either input that in the chat or click it. And as you can see, you know, we see some, the agent is now working at the background and we see some progress that's happening. We see a loading spinner here indicating that these steps are in progress. It's searching for 2023 data and also 2024 data. We can see that it's searching the web. It's uh, extracting information then it's done. This is a very nice user experience for something that took probably around 10, 20 seconds here. And then as the answer comes in, you can see that it's all neatly streamed into the user interface. So this is something that we've built with uh, LangGraph Tavillion co-agents in just a few hours. And I'm gonna show you uh, the actual code of how we built this and how, and how easy it is and how you can get started. So I think the, the best place to start would be to focus on the agent itself. And we did nothing special here beyond really using uh, LangGraph. And in this case, I'm using LangGraph Studio, which is a very, very powerful tool that allows you to, as you build your agent, uh, see it in action, inspect it, debug it, um, and quickly iterate and experiment with your agent. So here uh, we see the, the, the nodes of the agent, the steps that it takes as, it's, uh, as it runs. And very briefly, I'm going to explain them. So we have the steps node here. This is the first node that we get into. And really what this does is that it takes the user's question and breaks it down into individual steps or queries. In this case, we uh, asked for electric cars sold in 2024 versus 2023. So this corresponded to two individual steps, uh, one for 2023 and one for 2024. And by the way, uh, it's important to mention that the code for this uh, is available on GitHub. You can clone this and use this yourself. And I'm going to send the link right after the demo in the chat so you can you know, start it, pin it, or, or bookmark it. Um, but anyway, so, so the first step is going to be the steps node. We define the, the, the things we want to search. Then the search node. The search node uses Tavili, a powerful API for doing like online search, searches and, and getting real data from the internet. And in this case, uh, 
we're searching for two things, right? Cars sold in 23, 2023 and cars sold in 2024. The next step would be to extract the information. So Tavili has returned a bunch of information that is uh, you know, valuable. Now we want to extract really the, the most important things. And finally, to, over to the summarize node, and the summarize node is going to take that information and uh, build a proper answer using markdown format, which we then use to render this answer here. So, you know, this is just a, a, a normal land graph agent. Let's let's actually run it. So cars sold in 2023 versus 2024, and I'm going to run that. And as you see, again, uh, Land Graph Studio really helps us see the intermediate state and exactly what happens. The steps have been defined. Then we're searching using Tavili. This is the query run by Tavili. Uh, we're already extracting the information here. And then finally, we're gonna we're doing another search, and this time for 2024. Then we're gonna head to extract that information again. And finally, it's going to summarize the information and uh, output the answer in Markdown. So. This is a pretty cool agent, right? Again, just a few hours to build this. We're gonna get the answer in Markdown. And this is what we render in the UI. Now, uh, at this point, you know, we, we see how the agent works. This is a line graph agent. And now I'm gonna show you how to take this agent and really supercharge it using co-agents. And more specifically, how we stream the intermediate state, the state you've seen here and the state you've seen here, the, the Markdown answer using Co-agent with Copilot Kit. So let's see some code. The first thing I want to show you is the LangGraph side of this, uh, just so you see how easy it is to take any existing LangGraph agent and put a human in the loop. So uh, we have this repo here, which again, you're going to get a link to um, in just a few moments. And we have a file here called agent. And those of you who are already familiar with LangGraph are going to notice that really this is just any LangGraph agent. It, it looks very similar. We we import all of the, you know, the packages. We define the nodes, steps, search, summarize, and extract. Uh, we set the entry point. We define the edges, conditional edges. And then we just compile the workflow into a graph. So you can take any existing land graph agent from the, the great tutorials that we have from the course and then uh, build on top of it using uh, Copalitid co-agents. How do we take this agent that we've just seen and uh, make it available to Copilot Kit? We have a file here called demo.py. And all it does is that imports the graph that we've just compiled. It wraps it with the Copilot Kit backend SDK. We define a new LangGraph agent here called search agent. We give it a short description. And by the way, you don't have to have just one agent in your application. You could have two, three, four, five, ten, right? So this is how you define the Copilot Kit backend SDK. And we use a simple fast API endpoint to serve the the agent via an endpoint. And in this case, it's running on port 8,000. So I've already run this, uh, simply running port rerun dev, and the agent is running. Now, uh, another small thing I want to show you uh, is the specific part where we do intermediate state streaming. So let's take a look at Summarize, for example, where we uh, intermediately stream the markdown as it changes. So basically, I want to say, for a particular part of my agent state, whenever it changes, I want to stream it to the UI. And we do that in the progress uh, uh, component, but also for the final answer. So here's an example. All we do here is really import copilotkit.langchain. We call configure copilotkit, and we define emit intermediate state. And we basically say, whenever the answer changes in my state, I want to stream that answer. That's all I have to do. Just these few lines of code are going to uh, ensure that whenever the answer changes, for example, when the LLM generates and streams it, it's going to intermediately be streamed to the UI. So just wanted to show you that. Now we're going to head over to the UI code. And in terms of UI code, this is just a simple Next.js application. Nothing fancy here. We're not going to cover you know, styling. We're using Tailwind and stuff like that. That's not what we're here for. Uh, so we're going to focus on the Copilot Kit specific stuff. Um, the first thing we need to do when we use Copilot Kit with co-agents is to define a Copilot runtime. And very quickly, uh, Copilot runtime is the backend component of Copilot Kit. When you send requests from your UI to an LLM and back, you want it to run through a backend. The easiest way to do this is using Copilot Cloud. In this example, we're using a, a self-hosted runtime and we support a bunch of frameworks. We support uh, Next.js app router, pages router, Next.js, Node.js Express, and so on. Uh, in this case, we're using Next.js, so it's just as simple as importing it and defining the endpoint. 
The critical part here is that we instantiate the copilot runtime. And here we define an array of remote actions. And one of the items here is the endpoint of our LangGraph agent. This could be hosted on your computer. It could be hosted on Vercel. It could be hosted on a Kubernetes cluster or anywhere else. Um, by doing this, we make Copilot Kit aware of the agent's existence. Um, the next thing we do is just define a simple, simple post endpoint, making this uh, runtime available to Copilot Kit. The second thing we need to do to instantiate Copilot Kit is to import the Copilot Kit uh, provider uh, from the React Core package. This is the provider that gives uh, all of the Copilot Kit components access to the Copilot state. Um, and, and really makes everything come together and work nicely. We just wrap our entire application with Copilot Kit. Um, we specify the runtime endpoint. In this case, it's just a, a local Next.js endpoint. So it's a simple slash API slash Copilot Kit. And you can find all of this in our documentation, by the way. And finally, we say, hey, here's the agent that we want to work right now. Like we want to focus on the search agent here. That's all you have to do to set up the basics of Copilot Kit. So that's it, really. That's how simple it is to take any LangGraph agent and attach to it. And I'm not kidding when I say it took us a few hours to build this end-to-end. -end. Uh, I really look forward to seeing what you guys are going to build with uh, Copilot Kit, with LangGraph, and with Stavili. And I'm going to hand it uh, over to Atai. And that's how you can build a production-grade human-in-the-loop system with LangGraph and CoAgents. There's so much more to this, and I definitely recommend that you take a look at their GitHub repository, as well as their documentation, which will introduce you to CoAgents. And you can actually get early access by filling out their form. So definitely recommend that you take a look at this, join their Discord, give them a follow on GitHub as well by starring the repository. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. It. make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different ai subscriptions as well as our private discord for free make sure you follow us on the twitter page so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas